And for our news, the Department of Budget and Management is pushing for the urgent amendment of the Procurement Reform Act amid the Senate's scrutinization of the proposed national budget for 2024. Here is Hannah Jane Sancho for the news. Budget Secretary Amina Panandaman is actively pushing for revisions to the Longstanding Republic Act 9184, commonly known as the Government Procurement Reform Act. This effort aims to assist government agencies in overcoming challenges related to procuring programs, activities, and projects. These issues have been identified as significant hurdles in efficient government spending. Secretary Panandaman emphasized that the proposed amendments to the Government Procurement Reform Act are ready for presentation to President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcus Jr. during the cabinet meeting next week. The Budget Department added that the amendment aims to make government agencies spend and use their budgets better, with Secretary Pangandaman stressing its importance. If the President approves the measure, a physical copy of the revised bill will be submitted to both the Senate and the House of Representatives for filing and consideration. For God and my beloved country, this has been Hannah Jane Sancho, SMLI News. The Department of Social Welfare and Development faced no difficulties defending its proposed budget for the coming year. This comes after gaining support from the majority of lawmakers who attended the agency's budget briefing. Here is a report from Jade Calabroso. At the budget briefing of DSWD and its attached agency, except NCIP, is hereby, is hereby approved or terminated. The proposed budget for the Department of Social Welfare and Development, or DSWD, for the next year quickly passed the House Committee on Appropriations. DSWD Secretary Rex Gachalian himself participated in the deliberations of the committee on the 2024 DSWD budget, which was terminated faster than usual due to a case of parliamentary courtesy. Majority of lawmakers who attended the budget briefing expressed their support for the agency's proposed budget. On behalf of the first district of Albay and the province of Albay, I wish to thank Secretary Rex Kachalian and the DSWD family for immediate and continuing assistance to the Mayon Ebaquis. We usually afford a uh, special courtesy here for former members of the House. Secretary Rex is a member of the Congress, 19th Congress, and my colleague in the 14th, 15th uh, Congress, and 16th Congress. So, matagal-tagal din natin kasama dito. Uh, shall we go through the process of uh, hearing his budget? I move at the proper time. <laughs> Not only to approve the budget of Secretary Rex Cachalian, this WD, but to increase the budget as we need more of social services and social assistance to our people. To borrow the, the words of uh, George W. Bush, read my lips. He will deliver. He will deliver for this nation. Una sa lahat, nagpapasalamat ako sa House of Representatives, sa pamumuno ng ating speaker, Martin Omaldez, pati na rin ang ating mga membro ng Appropriations Committee. Uh, nakakataba ng puso na in-extend nila yung courtesy na dati, dahil dati akong membro at uh, napagbigyan tayo na mapabilis yung pag-approve ng budget natin sa committee, subcommittee level. Under the 2024 National Expenditure Program or NEP, the proposed budget for the DSWD including its attached agencies, is over 209 billion pesos. This amount is 5.2% higher than the over 199 billion pesos allocation for the DSWD under the 2023 General Appropriations Act. The largest portion of the 2024 DSWD budget is allocated to maintenance and other operating expenses, amounting to over 196.3 billion pesos. This includes funds for the social pension and the Philippine Food Stamp Program. Coming in second is the allocation for personal services at over 10.4 billion pesos, while 354 million pesos is allocated for capital outlay to be used for purchasing ICT equipment and software. Among its attached agencies, only the Presidential Commission for the Urban Poor and the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples saw an increase in their budgets for the next year.
Siyempre, mas malaking budget, mas maraming programa. Pero alam din natin na limitado ang resources. So kami as a DSWD, ang mandato namin, siguraduhin na magamit ng tama, mabilis, at dapat yung nakakaabot sa ating mga mahirap na kababayan na kliyente ng departamento. One of the new programs of the agency is the Walang Gutom 2027 Food Stamp Program, which aims to reduce the incidence of involuntary hunger. The program is targeting to provide digital stamps to 1 million poor families and vulnerable sectors. Tapusin muna natin yung pilot kasi doon nakaangkla ang tagumpay o pagpapalaki ng isang programa. Kung maganda yung maging resulta, then papalakihin natin. Pero siyempre, pag hindi, nasubukan natin ayusin. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Jade Galabroso, SMNA News.